We uh, over the weekend uh, here at Memphis, we had uh, these uh, road takeovers. Uh, I don't know if you've seen these things. Uh, they happen in in some of the larger cities out there, and um, y- y- we had hundreds of cars, and uh, the, th- they have the young thugs out there, and the thuglings and the thugettes, all of them, and they're doing street races, they're doing donuts, and. It's pretty terrifying. If you're caught up in one of these, it can be a pretty terrifying thing and very dangerous as well. And we um, we were talking about this um, on KWAM, and they have a great website group called Stop Memphis Crime. You got to check it out. And anyway, people are really um, frightened. Uh, some people said they called 911, but the police said they were overwhelmed. There was nothing they could really do. And if that's the case, then bring in the National Guard. And if you can't, if the National Guard's not enough, you know, someone made the interesting observation, Memphis is is no longer just like the, a third world. They, they would say Memphis is the Detroit of the South. No, Memphis is like Mogadishu. It's, it's unbelievable, the level of violence here. It's just insane. And we have a mayor who's completely clueless. So you have these people out there now, and the argument is, well, we just— we just got to give them young people something to do. The reason why they out there carjacking you and the reason they out there uh, doing the sliding on the interstate is because they got nothing to do. Really? Have you ever heard of something called a, I don't know, library, public library? Taxpayer funded, by the way. Yeah, but them children don't want to read. No, we, we got to have... We got to have community centers, state of the art community. This, these are what the the activists are saying. We got to have the community. All right, we're building million, multi million dollar community centers all across Memphis, Tennessee. Million, tens of millions of dollars, state of the art. Had a rap artist come in and actually built this beautiful state of the art basketball court. You know what they did? They burned down the basketball court. They did. Just over the weekend, there's a city gear, and they've been threatening to remove all of their stores from the Memphis area, and I don't know what's stopping them. Over the weekend, you had a couple of these young scholars walk in there, and they are literally walking out with thousands of dollars in shoes and apparel. An interesting observation, because they're saying they're po. It's just po. It's poverty. They live in poverty, and they're just doing this because... They have to eat. Okay, well, unless they're going to, I don't know, put soup in the shoe. I don't. Explain to me how that works. So I just made an interesting observation, and I caused a bit of a kerfuffle among the, um, among the, the ruling class. I pointed out that if, in fact, this is about poverty, right, and about getting, getting ahead, how is it that they're never stealing work boots? Right? It's they're never stealing something that they could actually use out on a job site somewhere. How, how is that how is that possible? I just throwing that out there. But by the way, this is and this has nothing to do with with race. They're trying to make it about race. And I point to the mayor of Kansas City, and the mayor of Kansas City is very upset because now, um, the governor has been calling the people who shot up the Super Bowl celebration thugs, right? That's, no, I'm not making this up. So the governor of, of, uh, of Missouri said, hey, these people are nothing more than thugs. And he says, we're not going to let a bunch of thugs, you know, dictate how we live. Now, this is interesting because the word thug has no racial connotation. Somebody just woke up one day. Why, um, we all make, we all make thug. Thug is a racist word that you can't call people thugs. Okay, well, who, who makes that decision? Could you, I would love to meet whatever office makes the decision that words somehow become racist. But anyway, somebody decided that the word thug is now racist. I don't believe it is. When you look at the definition, it is not a racist word. But now the mayor of, so the mayor of, of Kansas City is coming out, and he's just enraged over this. How dare you, I say, how dare you call these fine, upstanding homies thugs? 
And I'm sitting here going, wait a second. Um, first of all, and the mayor is saying this is all about race, right? So first of all, how does he even know that those individuals happen to be um, black? How does he know skin color? Because they haven't released any information. None whatsoever. And they're not. And you know why? Because the shooters were non-white. I'll give you that much. So the mayor is out there, and he's saying, we've got to stop calling. We've got to stop calling these people thugs. Well, he is only partially right. They're actually murderous thugs. But a thug is a thug, Mr. Mayor. I've got to read these quotes to you. The mayor said, I have respect for the governor. We get along well. I disagree strongly with how he would describe the situation. I certainly do think this was criminal activity. It was lawlessness, and I think that's troubling. But thugs is a dog whistle in the most classic sense. Really? Really? Is that true? Is the word thug a dog whistle? The mayor goes on. I've seen this dog whistle time and time again. There's this kind of giant conservative theory on social media now that the reason these mugshots have not been shown is because the purported defendants are black. And if it were a white defendant, we would have just shown them. That is absolutely preposterous. Really, Mr. Mayor. So where are the mugshots? And by the way, on this radio program, we've never said anything about the skin color of the gunmen, only to say they were not white people. Because if they were, in fact, white, if they were of the Caucasian persuasion, we would know their names. We would know everything about them. Their their faces would be plastered everywhere. There would be people marching in the streets. But you know what's very interesting here, folks? Have you noticed something about the Kansas City shooting? It's completely disappeared from the national media. Just like the shooting at Lakewood Church completely disappeared after, but it only, look, it was wall-to-wall coverage. They're literally, the networks are literally sending their anchors in, in limousines to the airport so they can board private jets so they can broadcast breathlessly from Kansas City and from Houston. But as soon as they got there, they got word that the shooter in, in, in Houston was transgender, and then the shooters in Kansas City were non-white. And so they said, uh-oh, return to base. Nothing to see here, folks. Got to just move on along. And that's what's happened here. Even CNN, the most profane name, even the people over at CNN are just sort of bewildered by the lack of information coming from police in Kansas City. I mean, we are days past it, and we know nothing about the shooters, nothing about the motive, nothing at all. I know that Ann Coulter uh, was uh, on Bill Maher's show, and Ann Coulter was weighing in on all of this, and she actually predicted it. She must be listening to the show because we were talking about this last week. Cut one. I mean, we don't know who did this shooting, by the way, the, the, the Super Bowl shooting. We have we, some idea. What? If it were a white man shooting, we'd know. If it, well, we don't know. But they, I mean, they That's haven't how we know it's not a white man. I can tell you that much. Do you think they were, they were repressing that reporting? They wouldn't tell us about the um, transgender woman that shot up the Christian school for, what, like a year? Um, oh, San Bernardino out here. Remember the crazy terrorist Muslims? Uh, that's when I first noticed, hmm, they're not telling us who it is. I, it's not a white male. The longer they go without telling you, it's not a white male. Okay, Wait. well, <laughs> we don't, we, for this one, for right now, as of Friday night, February 16th, we, know. we, don't, we don't officially know. <laughs> Okay, you know you have special powers. Um, but...